Hey guys, I'm back. So my computer ended up getting fixed a little faster than I thought it would, which is great. I've been enjoying getting to reinstall programs on my computer. And I can finally check my emails again, so that's a bonus. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing Chopsticks by Jessica Anthony and Rodrigo Coral. Now, I'm going to read the back rather than give my own synopsis of the story because I think that the back explains it very well and I feel that the back also doesn't give a lot away, but it keeps you intrigued. Gloria is a piano prodigy. After her mother died, she retreated into her music. Her father raised her with the goal of playing sold-out shows at Carnegie Hall and across the globe. Brilliant and lonely, Glory is drawn to Frank, who moves in next door. She loses herself in his paintings and drawings, mixed CDs, and late-night I Am conversations. Soon, Frank becomes both her connection to the world and her escape from reality. Before long, Gloria is unable to play anything but the song Chopsticks, F and G notes moving closer together and farther apart. Now Gloria has disappeared, but nothing is what it seems, and we must decide what is real, what is imagined, and what has been madness all along. So the storytelling format was very well done. You have pictures, you have artwork, I am conversations, mixed CDs, the entire way that they have told the story folds together into this beautiful telling of chopsticks. Now, I haven't read a story where they've told it in this format before, but I must say that this was probably the best format I've ever seen of telling a story through because the author, and I think Rodrigo Coral is the photographer, did an amazing job. Each time you turn the page, you can't help but think, oh my word, they did a great job. It all folds together into a beautiful story, in a way, and it just, each page is reliant on what was taken before. So you realize they had to put a lot of effort into this story, trying to find the right person to be Glory and the right person to be Frank, because you're not just getting a description of them, you're actually seeing them physically. And I think that they did a really good job with that. I also just want to put out, because I think this is really pretty, the the spine. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I love that it's given the old feel, like the old rustic feel to it. But, back to the review, because that's just a side note. Um, I would state to be aware there is some... Uh, tip it's probably typical for the age that our characters are. Um, there is some, there is language, and there's two or three pages where there are some um, artwork that is very graphic, if I can say that politely. So just be aware going into it. I was not, so I was a little thrown off uh, for a moment. But uh, overall, I think that they did a really good job telling this story. Um, by the time you make it to the end, you kind of want to go back and read it again because of what is going on. <laughs> What's going on in the story. But overall, I really enjoyed it. Hi, Sadie. Hi, Sadie. Hi. Say hello. That is my sister's dog. She's home visiting from school. So that's her dog on top of our puppy and our other dog. So you've just met Sadie. Um, one thing I do want to state, though, and if you've read the book, then um, I don't mind spoiling you. But in case you haven't, I'm not going to state anything more than this really reminded me of a retelling of Romeo and Juliet. If you're curious to know why, private message me on my channel or you can leave a comment below and state, tell me and I will privately message you with the spoiler on your channel. That is everything. I will see you guys next time and until then, go and pick up a random book and read.